Thank you for coming back. You know I'm a giant uh, a fan of yours. Uh, I, last time you were here, we, I, I, we were talking about this movie you did with uh, Rob Brydon, who's amazing, but uh, called The Trip. If you haven't seen it, you've got to watch this. But where you were both doing Michael Caine and talking how to do or the correct Michael Caine impression. No. Right. You just sound like you've got a cold. <laughs> Oh, see, but what if Michael Caine was sick? That's what he uh, sounded like. If, 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 yeah, if, if they wanted, if you know what, if they were casting for a kind of Michael Caine character with a cold, you'd get the part. But, oh my uh, God! Uh, thank uh, you so much. I know. That's so yeah. nice. um, no, you, no, you speak through your nose. You're making it sound too blocked up. You've got to speak like that. When he's younger, it's a bit higher, like that. Yeah, he talked like that. Talked like that. Oh. And years ago, years he spoke ago. like that. Yeah, Alfie. He, but these days, oh, it's yeah. a little lower he like that. Him. Because he spoke, too, he spoke so many cigars, it's a bit more like that, all right? Oh, and then when you get emotional, you've got to make your voice crack, like that. I <laughs> 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 Uh, I want to talk about this movie, uh, uh, Greed. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fascinating movie because it's funny. It, you, you, it really made me laugh in it. But then it gets kind of uh, almost like sad and like really like a good point. Yeah, I, well, I, that's, uh, yeah that's, that's the way I like to do my shows. I like to go out and please people and then make them leave depressed at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of counterintuitive way of working. Yeah, no one's ever done that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? But here's your, your character here. You play a billionaire. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is him right here. I love your teeth, by the way. Oh, uh, I don't know how. Yeah. Why did you go with the uh, big white, big white teeth? Because uh, what? Because what you find with billionaires is they have this. They sport this all year round tan because they're normally on super yachts off the coast of Monaco, just doing nothing. Yeah. And um, and then when they have a bit of money, they've got this huge disposable income. They normally throw the price of an SUV at their mouth. You know, and uh, and but the only way you can get it, this, these teeth actually clip, and no one has white teeth like that. I mean, no one only in California do you see white teeth like that. I mean, uh, it, uh, but in, and in Britain you certainly don't see teeth like that. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah I'd just do it for that. But, yeah. but that must have been shocking to see you see yourself with those teeth. Yeah, I had to wear shades when I brushed my teeth. It was. <laughs> Uh, what, can, can you describe the film for any, uh, uh, Well, it's about a, a super rich uh, guy, and it's sort of, it's a fun, you know, Michael Winterbottom, I've done a bunch of movies with him. Oh, he's great. And uh, he makes films where he talks about serious stuff, but doesn't make it boring, not like a big lecture. No one wants to watch a movie where they're being ta ta taught a lesson. Yeah. So it's about the, ri the relationship between the super rich and the super poor. So one week we're shooting on super yachts in Monaco, and the following week we're in sort of sweatshops in Sri Lanka where the, the, the workers are paid $3.50 a day. Uh, and we try to make that connection. A day? Yeah. I mean, this is like, so what we do say is that the reason the super rich are super rich is because a lot of people are super poor. And we just make that connection. But we do it in, in a way where, so, but the thing is, the film is quite funny. You know? So it sounds like a serious topic, and it is a serious topic, but you, people have fun along the way. And then, and, then at the, yeah, you and what you do is you make people laugh, and then you just sort of take the message and you put it in the top pocket like that, and just say, "Have a read of that later." You know. Yeah, so exactly. That's well, what I hope it, uh, it does start a conversation. We we make changes with that because you see the difference, and it's just shocking, like you're saying. Well, we all talk about we all talk about diversity these days. We talk about you know gender politics, and and, and we talk about the environment. We try to be grown up about this stuff. Uh, but the one thing that seems that people don't talk about uh, so much is, uh, you know, pay, pay, workers not being paid a decent living wage. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you, and some of these people don't have running water, and it's not like, you know, if you just up their wages, it's not like the company's going to go down. It, you know, yeah, they're making billions of they're dollars. Ma they've got an, a margin of error that they can, like, just yeah. whack I it up a so, few dollars. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> I want to show a clip here. Steve Coogan in Greed. Take a look at this. Is this an investigation into my tax affairs? I pay what I have to and no more because I'm not stupid. If you want to chase people avoiding tax, why don't you go after the big boys? I mean, look at Apple, look at Amazon, Starbucks. Why are you chasing me? Right, yes, it's not them. I suggest right. you Google it, Mr Chairman. There's another company. How much tax do you think Google pay? Not very much. If you don't believe me, talk to Bono. He's avoided hundreds of millions of tax by claiming that you two are based in Holland. It doesn't stop him going around the world in your nan's sunglasses proclaiming... Uh, <laughs> Uh, about ending poverty or whatever. This is him in the Daily Mail. You'd be stupid not to try and cut your tax bill, says Bono. Whoa. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm always a little... I'm always a little kind of uh, self, self... I'm always like, oh, God, I hope Bono doesn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was thinking, I think he'll survive some mild criticism from Steve Coogan in an independent movie. <laughs> yeah, <I> think, <laughs> he definitely... I think yeah. he'll do okay, yeah. Uh, we love when you come by. I wish you came by more often. Uh, I love you, man. Steve Coogan. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on. 